Hi, this is Andrew with Bones and Steel USA. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put together the light commercial rack. Um, the great part about this rack is you're going to need one tool, a 24 millimeter socket uh, wrench. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the base and I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to put it together. The biggest thing to think about on the setup with this bottom support piece is it actually uses three different bolts. Uh, bolt one, which is going to be your longest bolt, will be on this side. Uh, and the only way I differentiate bolt one and two is that one is just a tad longer than bolt two. They both have washers, they both have nuts, one is just a little bit longer. Um, and then bolt three has no nut on the end because it actually screws into the rack. So my biggest suggestion is to take bolt three in first, and it'll set the frame, and then you can just put the rest of the rack and the uprights around. Um, one other thing to think about is when you're putting the uprights in, you're gonna want the numbers on the outside of the rack. Uh, it's hard to mess this up, but it, it, it can't happen. But make sure the numbers face towards the outside of the rack. And yeah, the inside of the rack will be blank. All right? So I'm gonna show you how to put bolt three in and then start from there. So I have everything lined up already. Um, it's a different rack because most racks you bolt down into them. This one, you kind of have to just sturdy it on your own. So we're gonna take the top two bolts out. You're gonna go through the first hole. And then that first hole actually screws into the rack. Um, I'm gonna use an impact. Definitely not something you need, but if you have it, it's helpful. It makes it a little quicker. And once that bolt is in, I'm gonna take my longest bolt and it goes through the bottom. So bolt through, washer, and that. Now, I can set my upright. Numbers facing the outside. Set it up on top, and then put your top two bolts in. So I went ahead and got my front post in. Uh, the only thing that's different between the front and the back is the back has two brackets on it. Uh, the good part about the back is you use the same bolt for all uh, four of them. So it's just bolt one. Uh, I would go ahead and put all the bolts through the bracket first and then put the frame in. So I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> Once again, the numbers are on the outside. So I would go ahead and take, since I got the bottom two, go ahead and tighten the bottom one and then put the beam down in the middle. So I got the four uprights in. Um, the easiest way to put the top sections in is to start with the side piece. Um, it's already pre-drilled, so um, I don't have to sit there and hold it up or get a friend. So on the back plate, you're gonna have this, your pre-drilled holes on top, so you can put your top bolt in, and then you can hold it and put your cross bracket in. Another thing to consider for the back piece is the pull-up rack is in the back of the rack. So your two bolts need to go to the back of the rack. The single bolt goes to the front of the rack. So once again, back of the rack, bolt on top, slides through. Your two bolts are on the front. So you have my top bolt in. It's already pre-drilled into the cross member. Bot, the bolt two on the bottom is just bolt one. So it doesn't go through anything else except the two, bra two braces. So go ahead and put that bottom bolt in, bolt one. I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything loose for right now so I can get these front brackets in and move correctly. So the last part we need to do is put on your front uh, support that goes up top. Uh, the easiest way to do it is again to take that bolt two that doesn't have a nut and go ahead and put it through here and then screw it right on the rack. I'm just going to position them up first and then I'll start to tighten them. 
Once again, I'm going to use an impact. Um, if you use a tool like this, make sure you don't over tighten it. The bottom bolt is bolt one, it's the longest, so I'm going to put those through. And then these top two on the outside are bolt two. Alright, the last part we got to put in is our pull bar. It goes in the back of the rack, and the V part goes towards the front of the rack. So, big opening on the V. It's gonna go to the back of the rack, the short opening will go to the front of the rack. Or another way to look at it is your fat bar goes in the front, your skinny bar goes in the back. These are all bolt two. Alright, the last part, all we need to do is tighten everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down and I'll show you the end result. Everything assembled. Um, I went ahead and put all the pieces in that come with it. There are safety straps. Um, these are a great tool, especially when you're working out by yourself. Once again, if the bar comes off the rack and I need, to, and I need a spotter but I don't have one, the bar will fall nicely into these. Uh, this rack comes with sandwich J-cups. So it's, it's your standard J-cup, but it's a little beefier, which I really like. And then the last part is going to be our pins on the bottom um, that are selectable. So if you want to add bands to any of your training, you can. Um, so this is the final product. It's our light commercial rack. And I'm Andrew with Bells and Steel. Thank you.